Hey friends, Zach here. In this video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about my bed setup. Now, since January 1st of 2020, I've been living in my truck. And because I sleep in the bed right there in the back, I don't have that much space as you can see. So sleeping is a very interesting aspect of the truck camping process. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back there. We'll pop the window, we'll pop the camper or the uh, tailgate, I should say. And I'll go ahead and give you guys a view of my sleeping area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and answer a few questions that some of you have asked. So here we go, we'll get the window popped. We'll get the tailgate dropped. So this is my living space. This is where I live out of when I travel. And if you guys wanna see a full tour of this space, you can go ahead and click the video in the top or you can go ahead and click the link in the top of this video. It should be right up there in the corner. But right up here is where I sleep. So I'll go ahead and get that sleeping bag out of the way and I'll go ahead and begin breaking down my bed. So we'll go ahead and hop up in here and I'll move my sleeping bag out of the way. Okay, so here we are. This is where I sleep. Depending on whether I'm on an incline or decline, I will either sleep with my head over here or down there, of course. Whichever side is higher, that's the side that my head is gonna go on. And I'm actually gonna open this window right here just to get some light inside. Maybe that provides a little bit of extra light, maybe it doesn't. Either way, the first question that I have been asked about my bed setup comes from one of my subscribers, Ray Wright. And Ray asks, how wide is that bed? What would be the least I could get away with to maximize my comfort? So Ray, to answer your question, my bed is 30 inches wide. That's two and a half feet. And uh, for me so far, I really haven't had any problems with comfort when it comes to sleeping. Of course, uh, the angles, like I was talking about before, could definitely play a part in my comfort. If the angle is too sleep, uh, too sleep, too steep, sometimes you'll slide down to the bottom of that um, slope. But most of the time, I'm in a parking lot or at a campsite, and I have a very level surface to sleep on. So yeah, 30 inches wide, and comfort has been great. And really, it comes down to whatever you're comfortable with. For me, I uh, practiced sleeping. I practiced sleeping um, within a certain area, or I just kind of laid there for a little while to see, you know, what would be comfortable for me. And 30 inches is what worked well for me, and it works well in this area because it's exactly half of the truck bed. So, 30 inches for me works well. The next subscriber comment comes from Alex Wislow, who says simply, bed is way too skinny. And you know what? That's a totally fair assessment of this bed. I think it is, uh, you know, very, very skinny. It's 30 inches, like I said before. But for me, it gets the job done and it allows me to utilize the other space as well as I have. So it is skinny, but it works well for me. The next question comes from one of my subscribers, Kent who asks, what did you use for your bed? My guess is that he's asking about the mattress material. And Kent also goes on to ask, would I do something different about my bed setup? So let me go ahead and peel back an area of this uh, comforter so I can show you what material I'm working with. So I've gone ahead and peeled back my comforter here and it allows you to see a little of the exposed mattress material. And so I'm simply using um, this Tempur-Pedic foam mattress topper. And basically I knew that my bed was gonna be 30 inches wide when I made my uh, plans before uh, the building process. And because of that, I simply ordered a mattress topper that was 60 inches wide and I just folded it in half. It was a little too long. I believe it was like seven feet and of course my truck bed is six and a half feet, so I had to cut a few inches off the length. But of course, as you can see, it fits very well. And I simply have the Tempur-Pedic mattress just wrapped up in a blanket. So it's nice and homey, and it doesn't really feel like I'm sleeping on a mattress topper. It feels like a legitimate mattress. And so that's been very nice. Kent went on to ask if I would do anything different or if I would change anything about my bed setup. 
and I'm pretty sure he also added on um, that of course the height was an issue, but to be honest, that's definitely one of the things I would change. As you can see, there's not that much height. It's only about two feet. And so, you know, maybe in a rebuild, I would definitely consider lowering the height of my bed. So that right there is something that I would change. But one thing that I like about the height of my bed is that, as you can see, it's right next to the window. So if it's very hot outside, I have the ability to remove that window cover, open the window, and I get a nice breeze right next to my body. So that's something nice about the height. I'm sure if I had it a little bit lower, I would still reap the benefits of having a window right there. But it is nice to have that window directly next to your body. One of the many benefits of having my bed at the height that it's at is that I have the ability to slide my cooler underneath of it. And of course that was all intentional. My cooler is right back there next to my curled up sleeping bag. And uh, like I said, of course that was intentional and part of the design, but because my bed is so high, it allows me to have my cooler under there. It also allows me to have my lockbox, which is right here. It also allows me to have such a massive drawer. So although my bed is super high and that might be something that I would change, it's something to consider if you're thinking about designing your bed system in a certain way. The higher the bed is to the ceiling, the more storage space you have underneath. And uh, of course, the opposite is also true. The lower your bed is to the floor, the less storage space you have and the more headspace you have. So it's just a matter of what you value more. And for me, this right here was the happy medium, or at least this time around, this is what worked well for me. So with all that being said, I hope I was able to answer all of your guys' questions. Keep asking questions, keep being curious, and if there's anything at all that you want to know about me, my adventure, or my setup here behind me, please do not hesitate to ask, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.